All right, so out here we have a reefer van box truck. A lot of you guys like to get into the dry van box trucks, but you gotta ask yourself what pays more. You know, you got the lift gate at the bottom, everything's the same. So let's look into it and let's talk about it. Let's say we get the same type of run going to the same place. You're looking on the DAT load board, you see a pickup going from Houston, Texas to Dallas, Texas. All right. Now, for that same load, the drive in would probably pay around $400, $500. But if it was reefer, it would pay probably $700 to $1,000 for the same run because you're running something that needs to be refrigerated. The weight and everything is the same. It might be a little bit harder to find refrigerated box trucks, but they are also non-CDL like the regular box trucks. And the difference is you can get a lot of dedicated lanes with the reefer vans because everybody needs to move food, right? Food is always going to be something that is needed to move from location to location, especially short distance. So if you're thinking about getting into the box truck business, you might want to think about getting a reefer box truck. Yes, you have to make sure that the temperature is correct and you have to get it there on time. If you get a load at 12 o'clock and it said delivery is at 5 o'clock, you make sure you're on time because they can deny the load. A little bit more strict when it comes on the reefer, but you can make more money by having a refrigerator on. I wouldn't get a reefer van that is no less in the year of 2015. Trying to get in the box truck business, think about a reefer.